And in our last video, we told you about biking yourself and some other interesting expressions. So especially with asses. Especially with asses. <laughs> yeah, that's always um, quite an intriguing one. And yeah. if you haven't seen them, go and watch them. And we are ready to start the second part. Hello, everybody. This is our second video about expressions. Interesting expressions in Russian, German and English. Now we are going over to fire. Devil, man and woman. Ooh, intriguing. And this is the expression that I really like in Russian and that I taught you um, quite early on. Yes. Uh, and the Russian expression sounds like муж и жена, одна сатана. So um, it's husband and wife are the same devil. Uh, to explain this expression, I would say that um, wife and husband are comparable, they share a lot of things, especially thoughts, and they live together, uh, so they are kind of one. Yeah, it just it basically means that there's like one team, a very strong one, and it's unbeatable to others. And in German we don't have one with a devil, but uh, the one that I at least... Uh, Probably then it's not so interesting if that's not without devil. Yeah, I, I guess it cannot compare with the devil, you know, especially since the devil is this almighty. But we have our own one, and that's gleich und gleich gesellt sich gern. So one of the kind, more or less flocks together. Is maybe yeah, a good gleich and gleich, like the same and the same. Mm -hmm. The, the like meaning, I guess, is the same. And in England, they also have a lot that um, is approximately the same. And yeah. uh, uh, which one is your favorite one in English? Uh, I think birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, birds of a feather flock together. That's also like they are the birds they with the same um, yeah, kind the of feather, feather, they just go together. And uh, I think the one that I like, I, I learned it only not so long ago, is thick as thieves. Though I understand that for most of the learners of any language, <laughs> it's a difficult one to pronounce. It's Difficult for, for me for sure. Oh, it was for me. Thick as and it thieves. Still is. Thick as thieves. Uh, that means that you are also close friends. You share uh, secrets, so you can say, "Oh, those two, they are thick as thieves." Actually, there are more expressions about those sticking together. I guess in any language, and English is not the exception. They're not always about husband and wife, but still, there is also expression two of a kind that is uh, used quite often. I like it. And the one that you like is um, like being like hand and glove. Hand and glove. So really fitting together as hand and glove. And um, uh, with accessories, we also have in Russian one uh, as the uh, to be a pair of boots. So you are like two boots in a pair, really fitting together and really suiting to each other. And we have also one that I found interesting. It's rybak rybaka vidit is delika. It's mind blowing that she can do that with her. Uh, anyway, the phrase means that the fisherman can see another fisherman from the far away. So I guess that's really similar to birds of feather flocks together. I like that one. It's probably an old one. An old one where you just times. need to search for another fisherman to know where to go. And one more about husband and wife in Russian. Uh, and this is, I would say, a controversial one. And you're to judge why. It says, муж голова, жена шея, and that means that husband is head and the wife is a neck, and that means that really, in my mind at least, what it always meant is the most power uh, is for the man in the family, and he is the brain of the family, and he thinks about stuff, and to all other people around, it seems like he's the one who is making decisions. But indeed, um, it's not always true. Because wife is a knack and she's turning the head where she wants the head to turn. So actually, if you, even you don't see that, the wife is the one who is influencing the decisions of the husband. But we also read that that's a little bit controversial. Yeah, so maybe I'm not totally right. The head is turning because the neck is turning, but you can also say the 
neck is turning because the, the head, head is wants to turn in that direction. That yeah. That. So Any, it's again a yeah. bit. I think really biologically it's more real about the head. The head gives the instruction what to do and yes. then the neck turns. But anyway, I think even the main sense of this expression is that it's again the husband and wife, they are united so much that they are doing everything together as one team, as head and neck, because yeah. without one another they cannot um, function, they cannot um, do anything. I thought that it's maybe even about that it's not important if it's the head that's deciding or the neck, the neck. Uh, as long as they are... The result is, as long as the result is yeah. good, it's really good. And in German we have a really comparable one. We say, uh, der Mann ist das Haupt und die Frau sein Leib. So the man is the head and the woman is the body. Yeah, I guess it has really the same meaning of the yeah. functioning together. And uh, that reminds me of another one that I like a lot. It's uh, about the needle and the thread. Oh yeah, the Russian expression about the husband and wife. Yeah. We have a lot of experts about husband and wife. We're yes. just sharing the ones that are uh, the most interesting and that we really encountered and used in our life. Yeah? yeah. But, like, the needle and the thread is like one is the needle, other one is the thread, and they are always going together. It's impossible yeah. that the needle is going without the thread. So the thread is more or less always following the needle. Yeah. Actually, the needle is always a bit of following in those um, expressions. So it's I, thread I, following the needle. I think it's. Mm, not so practical if you have one that wants to go and the other one wants to go. Yeah. So anyway, to somebody needs to follow. Yeah, somebody has to follow. And I guess this is even can be the secret of the family life. <laughs> somebody has to follow every now and then. It's not important if that um, in this situation you or in other one me. It's just important that we give each other a bit of this um, yeah. power and following. Sometimes it's also important that one takes the responsibility yeah. and the other one can calmly follow um, so to take off some pressure from the other one. We really great philosophers as always. Um, <laughs> this is how the video about the expressions about husband and wife became um, sharing the secrets of family life. No? Uh, before we start to ramble more about philosophy and family and languages. Before we become too cursy. Oh uh, yeah, too cursy. <laughs> if you don't know what cursy is, go and watch another video. Uh, the name of the video is the, the, the words that we use in any language, no matter which language we speak. It's one of the previous ones. Enjoy. 